Damn. This way to the vault. time before they get through. There's the list belt. Copy it to a disc.
UMB belt. Activate the gas. Drop your weapon and surrender or he dies. That was action packed right there. It's about time. Been waiting for your call. They caused a hell of a mess in Moscow. Was it worth it? Adler managed to get the list of sleeper agent names, despite himself. He's got balls, I'll give him that. Bell did well. Seemingly. But I think that team is getting too comfortable. They're acting like they know who they're dealing with. Perhaps. Turns out, one of Theodore Hastings. He's a nuclear engineer based out of Salt Lake City. And you believe Hastings is the one he'll activate? Exactly. Total surveillance is already underway. It's only a matter of time before he leads us straight to Perseus.
This is it. The recent movements of Theodore Hastings has led us here. Cuba. Right in our backyard. A vacant government facility in the Cuban countryside has become a hub of activity for Perseus, and the likely location of the stolen nuke. No doubt Castro allowed it. Twenty bucks to anyone who could bring him down before me. Who? Castro or Perseus? Whoever. We are not gonna let him move this nuke inside the states. It's time to take out <laughs> Perseus. What's it for? Twenty bucks to whoever gets Dean, him down first. Wrap up any unfinished business. Once we strike, there's no turning back. Woods, don't get any bright ideas over there. Yeah, you've got my sure as shit. I need a few minutes of your time to discuss something. Two available in private. You ready? Let's talk. You look ready. Yeah. Check this out. Hold on. Make it quick. Plan A is Agent Azalea. We didn't pick Lazar for his charisma. He's an expert in bomb defusal. If it's live and he can't disarm it, you're still gonna get that nuke out of there. Bring a change of pants. Negative. Even at this size, Perseus could catch our scent on the wind and try to relocate. In this scenario, less is more. It's as good as it's gonna get. The intelligence community has spent years trying to track Perseus to a concrete location. This guy lives between the lines of recorded history. Nothing would put a bigger smile on my face than you personally putting him down. Indeed it did. Our insider delivered in a big way. As for you, the baseline expectation around here is to surpass every expectation. But from the bottom of my ass, welcome to the team. From the bottom of my ass, welcome to the team. <laughs> I'm not in the business of discussing my personal views on team members to subordinates. Anything else? The projector's in the back corner if you need to go over any details from the briefing. Look alive. It's Adler's protege. Bill. Serious right now? Don't get him started. Nah, 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 nah. Hold on, let me set the record straight. Here we go. <laughs> so yeah, Castro and I have some history between us. I had the opportunity to off the man, but our intel was flubbed. That's in a tidal wave of shit all the way up to DC. So if I find out that Perseus is in cahoots with Castro, and Hudson happens to find one of my bullets in Fidel's head, well, I say chalk it up to collateral damage. Huh, kept it under five minutes. I was expecting a diatribe. No, we were after a different spying case, huh? <laughs> That's right. Our team was right next to Adler's when we touched down in Way City. That's also the first time I had the misfortune of meeting Hudson. <laughs> in all those years, nothing's changed. He still has the personality of a wet fucking blanket. You hear that? We're fucking legends. Yeah, wherever we go, we bring the thunder. Man, get the fuck out of here with that shit. You seem pretty unimpressed over in Fake Town, USA. Or, are you talking about Mason right now? As I live and breathe. You got a point in saying that? You sound concerned too. If you're trying to be friendly, this is the dumbest way to go about it. We're just fucking with you. <laughs> <laughs> he should be concerned. Yeah, well, you just snuck into the KGB with Adler. 
hacked their database and got out in one piece. And I'll be going in with my boy here. If I were Perseus, I'd be running for the hills. And I'd be calling in a mortar strike on that hill. Yeah, for Adler, it's a culmination of three decades of meticulous tracking. You'll probably be extra pissy on this mission. I advise you to stay focused and drop the nostalgia. Look, you better buck up, buddy. Adler's gonna want you more committed than a grenade without its pin. Yep. Later, Bell. I'm sure. Hastings left Salt Lake City. We tracked his movements all the way to Cuba. We have to assume Perseus moved the nuke there. Langley believes Castro could help Perseus smuggle it into the U.S. in exchange for a peek at the hardware, of course. That isn't gonna happen. What's the plan? The last read we have on Hastings came from 30 miles south of Havana. We suspect Perseus is using an abandoned compound there to hold the nuke. They're working under the radar, so expect moderate security. I say we smash and grab. Parachute in, grab the nuke, skyhook out. And what if the nuke isn't there? It's there. The only reason Perseus needs Hastings in Cuba is to prepare it for arming and detonation. There you have it. Hudson will arrange our exfil while we're en route. If everyone's ready, let's move out. Adler should be checking in right about... Spark, we're in position. Copy that. We're moving to flank. All teams, we do this fast and loud. Find Hastings, grab the nuke, get the hell out. Woods, light up this joint. About fucking time. Do the honors, Bell. Oh, like fucking clock.
They've got closed circuit cameras. We could use them to locate the nuclear bomb. Sharp as ever, Mark. Never had some bad accuracy at point RPG point. On the balcony. CCTV. Mason, you missed one behind the counter. Thanks, Park. Okay, that's pretty cool. Keep looking. There. Hold it. Adler, we have eyes on the nuclear device. Bloody hell. Someone's killing the scientists. Where? Second floor, room 27B. Second floor, center room. Crude, but effective. You can't keep your eyes off. Belgium. You don't get killed.
Canvas the room. Hastings, stop talking. <laughs> Perseus was here. <coughs> he shot us. He escaped. Perseus would never leave his precious nuke behind. He forced us to reverse engineer the detonation codes. They give him full access to green light. What? Are you telling me Perseus can detonate multiple nukes in Europe? I'm so sorry. Hastings, stay with us. How many green light devices can Perseus detonate with those codes? He can detonate all of them. He'll wipe out half of Europe. Blame it all on the USA. We need to find that son of a bitch, Perseus. Time to go. No? Contact. Chopper coming to head to the roof. Move, move. we got a shit ton of reinforcements circling this compound. Now! We'll do it in turns. Bell, you harness up first. We'll cover. Go! Take cover! Oh, God. Uh, My legs! Come on, Parker. Reach. And I'll grab you guys. Go in with the intel you have, not the intel you want. We paid the fucking piper down there. You 
think this is Bell's fault? I don't know whose fault it is. I just know that Perseus doesn't have a single fucking nuke. He's got dozens. Millions of people are gonna die, and the United States will take the blame. You need to find out where he's planning to broadcast the activation signal. How are we gonna pull that out of our ass? Bell knows where it is. Bell? This goddamn science project was a failure! Don't count Adler out yet. The man has a deep bag of tricks. Come on, a little further. 